Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emily, and if you don't know who I am, I'm an autistic and dyslexic illustrator and designer and also podcaster. So do check out my 21 and Sensory podcast if you want to hear from people like authors, actors, TikTokers, content creators, YouTubers, researchers, scientists, that sort of thing. So do please go check that out. But today I am back with my fidget toy haul. I know that this is a highly requested video um, from subscribers, so really appreciate you guys um, asking for this. Um, I've been meaning to do it for a while and I'm sorry that it's taken me so long. Um, but basically, this is a kind of tour of all of the fidgets that I now own. Um, you might be able to tell that I've kind of cut it down slightly. If you go back to um, my previous kind of fidget toy tour, which I will link somewhere above here. Um, I had like drawers of fidget toys, um, which was quite a lot. And also I kind of realized that if I don't see them, I don't necessarily tend to use them. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut from this lovely intro to um, a kind of view of my kind of sensory corner, which is basically kind of just a corner in my room next to um, a bookcase and I will just do a little tour of that so you can see where I store my fidget toys but basically um, let's go to that first and then we'll come back to this. Cool, so now that that's out of the way and you've got the context as to where my fidget corner is, um, fidget corner, I kind, of, <laughs> I kind of have just merged sensory corner and fidget tour into fidget corner. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. Um, so basically I've given a lot of my fidget toys away um, because I had like duplicates and companies very kindly send me fidget toys which is amazing and I'm super thankful for them, but you get a lot of duplicates. So I donated some to a National Autistic Society Centre and I've also donated some to a local church. So hopefully a lot more people can um, use the fidget toys than I ever would be able to. So that's why it's quite pared down. So I am on the hunt for good recommendations for fidget toy kind of storage because I do, I do kind of like having them in these trays because it means I can move them around, but again, if I can't see them, then I won't kind of gravitate towards them, if that makes sense. So I've got this box of, it's mainly, I would say, chewy kind of, um, like, chewy. I would say jewelry. I can never say it. Basically, chewy fidgets. So that's in there. 
and I kind of keep those separate just because I think like after I use them and wash them like it's nice to have them in a separate box to the kind of less chewy ones um so that's those which I will go through in a sec and then I just have this big yellow spiky ring which doesn't usually live in there but basically I just went around collecting all my fidgets <laughs> so we'll go back to that and then I have this tray which sits right here on my desk while I'm working um and I just kind of like grab stuff from that um or have it kind of out so these things I'll have out but I will show you that in a minute and then I have this bigger tray for literally bigger fidgets <laughs> um so we will go through each I think um so starting off I think let's go for the chewy box and there's also some other stuff in here um so at the top I've got just some key rings that I don't actually know why I've put all these key rings in here um but these are all AC toys fidgets so you might have seen I've got um a video with them on my channel and yeah I've just got these little key rings I think this one's from the boba whale key ring um and then this is like a little bear I don't know if you can you can't really see it because of the angle but there's a there's a whale in that one and a bear in this one and then so I've kind of taken bits off and kind of merged bits I've got um I think I've got one of these on my bag and it has like a simple dimple on it so I've kind of as you can see taken stuff off um so yeah uh, those are those but they're really quite kind of fun to play with and you'll see some more um AC toy stuff in a minute because I've got some stuff in that tray so that's some random key rings not sure not sure so I'll explain those in a sec but these are all the kind of oh, hang on I've got a tangle key ring as well it's kind of cool um right these are all my chewy fidgets that are currently in rotation that I'm using. So I have, oh my god, do you know what I should have done is untangled these before starting this video. I've got a little starfish. I'll either link all these fidgets um, by name on the screen, or if not, they'll be in the description or both. Um, so starry kind of fidget starry starfish kind of fidget and you can see it's kind of got these little like textured bits on it so that's quite good for chewing on and um, that's that then i've got still these are still all pretty much the same from the last um video so these are the berries from chewy gem um they're also called sensuli now as well i believe um and then I've got kind of a range. I've mainly got Chewy Gem Sensuli ones, um, but this is a Hex Nex Chewy Necklace, um, which was bought for me for Christmas a while back. It's definitely a more kind of modern take on a fidget. Also, that's really satisfying. Um, <laughs> there's that. And then I've got these, I think they're called like chewy tubes or ch they're like for the end of um hoodies i think you can put them on i've just got them on this cord um but you can put them on the end of like hoodie strings that's what i was trying to say and then kind of use them out and about um i quite like the color of these actually um also they're quite nice to just have in either pocket of like a coat or something because they're both quite textured um and then i've got a random pencil topper in here and my favorite raindrop chewy gem pendant which you'll see i have another one 
in a second, which I will explain. Um, I think this is one of my favourites. I think it's the petrol coloured one. Um, this one is quite worn because I've had it for a while, which is basically why I've got another one. Um, and then I've got these kind of newer Chewy Gem Infinity pendant and also this Starry Love Heart one, which is really soft. It's kind of like a really nice silicon um, that's soft. And then this one's kind of more of like a shiny sort of um, material. But yeah, those are both. Oh, it has Chewy Gem on the bottom. I didn't even realise that. Um, so yeah, that's those. And then I've got this, I think it's the board pendant. It's a bit dusty in this box, sorry. Um, and I've just put this like little um, lanyard on that has like an attachment at both ends. Um, this one's quite flexible. If you go on the True Gem website as well, they have like different ratings for how like flexible and strong and durable um, their fidgets are. So would recommend. Um, so that's that. And then this is something that my mum made me from some beads that she got. Um, they are chewy beads. She's just put them on elastic for me. Um, but that's quite nice to kind of have in a pocket. I don't think I can fit them on my wrist and I'm not even going to try. Um, <laughs> but I really like the colours of them. And that's kind of a bit like the Hexnex one. Um, so that's all those. And then the lovely people at Chewy Gem a while back sent me some um, new fidgets. So one of them is the raindrop because I love it so much, but mine has kind of, it's gone more matte than glossy. So I have got another one of those, which I'm going to use at some point. I'm one of those autistic people that can't open new things. And I mean, I've had this probably like a year or two now, maybe a year. Um, and I just, I can't open new clothes, new toys, new, just anything. And then I also got this really nice camouflage um, hand fidget. And you'll see in this tray over here, I actually have one of these in the pink and yellow. And I love it because it's like a literally quite a silent fidget. Like you can't really hear it, especially if it's in a pocket. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to open that one. And it's like this really cool like camo design. So that was everything that was in here. Um, let's put that all back. So basically I almost feel like I need like a hanging thing for these. Like almost like a display but I can kind of grab sort of thing. I will put the key rings back in here but I'm not really sure that they should be living in here. Um, so that is that tray done. Cool. Okay next tray. So this is what I keep on my desk. I'm just going to move this out of the way a bit. And this is my microphone in case anyone wonders. <laughs> so I've just shown you this one, which is the Chewy Gem little hand fidget. And it kind of looks like one of those berry ones from the um, jewelry box. But it even says Chewy Gem on it. So yeah, I just have this on my desk kind of here and my keyboard here. Um, and that's my monitor there. So works quite well. And then I guess let's talk about some of the tabletop ones I have. So I have this little like volcano um, looking fidget, which looks confusing. But what you do is you tip it upside down. I don't know. Doing it at an overhead angle doesn't work particularly well. But I'm going to hold that upside down for a minute and then hopefully you'll be able to see in a sec so all the bits are rising to the top and then it should when you turn it over kind of shoot out the top can you see that i don't know it's kind of all shooting out the top of the volcano um this one has a bubble in it which um isn't ideal but it's pretty cool and it just kind of will sit on my desk um that's just gonna vibe over there and then I also have this, which is a 3D printed, um, like, little tester of keycaps. So that's quite cool. Um, they all sound quite different. Um, I will hold it near my microphone so you can hear the different kind of keycap noises. But also you can, like, change them out as well. 
Um, so yeah, there's lots of different coloured switches. Um, and yeah, it's quite nice to just have on my desk. It's just satisfying. I don't know if anyone else finds keyboards and different like um, cap keys. Um, so yeah, that usually just hangs about on my desk. Um, let's take that one out as well. And then I just have a hair tie. I think it's one of those invisible ones. Um, I love these just because, you know, you just got to have one on your wrist and it works really well as a fidget. Um, I've got some older ones which are a little bit looser, which I kind of prefer to the newer ones because they kind of go back to the original shape. Um, then I have this from Tiger. Now, it's got a little bit squeaky. I don't know if you can hear this really. That's quite squeaky. Um, not sure why, but it kind of reminds me sort of of molecules, which is very scientific of me, I know. Um, yeah. It's kind of cool. Um, so, can't, can't necessarily use that quietly. And then what else do I have? That's a bit of a sticker. Don't know why that's in there. And then I have one of these, which I think my sister has left here. Um, what are they called? They are called Wacky Tracks, that's it. This one's quite good, it's very clicky. Absolute ASMR on the mic over there. So I have that. And then I've got, I have a few tangles in here and a few tangles in there. Um, so this is a glow in the dark tangle. Um, I love tangles. I think they are one of my favorite fidgets, but they go so like loose so quickly. And that makes me sad. Um, like, don't get me wrong. I like a loose tangle, but I also like it when they, I don't know. Let me, let me see if I can explain it. Is this a loose one? That one's, come on, popped. Like this one. This one's a bit, like, tougher, if that makes sense. Um, I kind of call this my, like, or these two, my, like, Dennis the Menace kind of ones. Oh, that one's snapped in there. These these ones are knockoff tangles, just so you know. Um, yeah, they've got no tangle branding on them, which is probably why this one's broken. Um, but, yeah, these are my Dennis the Menace coloured ones um not as good as original proper tangles and then i have this really cool fidget bracelet there we go um that you can just kind of pop as you go and i think it's kind of meant to be oversized so that you can actually get to the bits but that's how it kind of does up so that's quite cool I also do just like <laughs> holding it between two hands and being like so that's quite cool I like the, the colour of it actually um, and then I also have these are pretty much all the same as what I've had in my previous video um, let's let's do the other so I have these two little um, pop-it things. And these are usually in my bag or my coat pocket. Um, like one in each kind of thing. Um, I find they're just quite nice to have like on you and they're quite subtle um, if they're in your pocket. So that's kind of those. And then what should we do next? This I've had in a previous video. It is like a little spinny, like desktop fidget. Very satisfying. I'm gonna do this again, but zoom in so that you can actually kind of see it more. cool and it's kind of like a nice rose gold colour. There's that and then got a little zip bracelet that undoes and does up. 
which is quite stimmy. I like that. And then, oh, I keep finding random bits in here. Okay, then I have the Magni rings, which literally just fly off every like two seconds, which drives me slightly nuts. Um, but anyway, also have this little cool spinny cube thingy. I think this is like from the entertainer where they have like the kind of like pound or like like cheaper smaller fidgets kind of thing so that's quite cool still have my ANSI lab original fidget cube which i love i have this one and i also have one in here as well don't i yeah i have two this is a kind of like knockoff one i think it was probably from tiger um, but this is like the official Ansi Lab one, and it's definitely like a better build quality. So I would say this is it's worth the price despite it being expensive. But I imagine you could probably get them on like Vinted and stuff. So fidget cubes. Um, I have a little sequin bookmark, and you also see I have a sequin notebook over there. Actually, I call it a bookmark. It's not a bookmark. It's one of those, like, out. There we go. Snap on. But I just use it as a bookmark, I think. So, yeah, that's cool. Just always refer to it as a bookmark. Um, simple dimple. Can't go wrong with a simple dimple, and I really like the, those um, colours as well. Then I have this, I guess, could be classed as jewellery, but really it's just a big poppet. So, very satisfying, I think. Um, and yeah, I just wear that kind of out and about and it has one of those like breakaway clasp things so that's cool and then i also have i don't know if you guys had these like growing up these like little wooden blocks um but they're just really satisfying to play with they're just like on an elastic um yeah you can make so many shapes with them so yes like those and then last of all I've got these two things, so this is just a marble mesh fidget, which is super satisfying. Um, as you can see, I've also got another one over here. Um, I don't know why I pointed with my pinky finger, like, over there. Um, and then this is the last um, one in my desktop thing. So this is from AC Toys, which the keyrings were from. And I just freaking love this, because it's got, like, little like balls in there that just kind of float and vibe and I'm just obsessed with it um like how cool is that to the extent that my sister really wanted to take it off me and I was like absolutely not I love this um also it's just really satisfying because like that you can get like the little balls to like go in the feet and the arms yeah like that so yeah cool i like that so this is gonna be a long video i apologize but hopefully it'll be interesting so let's put these all back okay so next up we have the bigger kind of tray over here let's move that oh i didn't realize there was a bit of key ring just hanging out there the big tray so big spiky ring which we love it's very tactile um it's just quite fun i just constantly turn it in and out on itself so that's quite cool i'll try and find where i got it i've had it since like childhood like that's how long i've had it um and then 
let's have a look at some other bits what should i show you next so this was sent to me and was like it's like handmade i showed it in my previous video but i just love it um it's from adapted james and it's just almost like one of those like activity kind of mats um but i forgot that squeaked um there's like kind of ribbon and like a dungaree bit and a zip and just like different textures going on and a little button um so yeah it's really cute and i just kind of like how um it's like easy to fold up and just have a my little basket so there's that okay what should we go for next for some reason there's a wooden sausage dog in here i think it's just because it feels nice and is quite shiny um that's cute i kind of feel like it would look cute on my desk um what else do we have in here so i've got these two green poppets these are my favorite ones i think in my previous video i had a pineapple one and i also had like some bigger ones as well like there was one that looked like a paint palette um but i've given those away because i just felt like actually i don't really need this many if that makes sense also this one i think is from fidgy pops which they sent me and it has it's a cactus with cactuses on each thing which is really cool um let me do some asmr quickly always annoys me when they're not all like done one way um so yep yeah, there's those um and another thing that i recently got which i don't well, i don't know if it's in my previous video it might have been is this cool thing but it's really hard to put them like i've tried to put them all down but as you put them down like other ones will pop which is quite annoying now that I say that, it's not going to happen, is it? Let's see how many I can do. See? Do you see that? It just, like, popped up. Ugh. Right, okay, let's just go for this. And then you squeeze it. It is satisfying, but I think it would drive people nuts. Um, so those are all the, the kind of popping ones. And then you can see I've got my two favourite triangles. This one I love because it's kind of textured, like a knobbly kind of texture. And then this one is another favourite because it came with me to my autism assessment um, diagnosis day. So this is my special tangle, you know, sentimental. So those two. And then I'll go through this thing in a sec because that's kind of separate so i have this massive tangle i don't know if you saw but last halloween so last october tangle sent me this massive halloween like um basket and it was full of tangles like full of tangles it was so cool um so there was this one and then i don't know where my other one is um they sent me two giant ones and then i've gifted a few to friends and family as well um because as much as I love Terangles, there were so many. There must have been like, there's definitely over 10 of them. And I was like, I'm never going to get through all of these. But um, just as like a size reference, this is a normal Tangle. And then this is the bigger one. So they are, this one is massive. <laughs> also, I don't know if I, did I mention that that one, this one glows in the dark, which is quite cool um and makes it easy to find um okay so let's go let's go for this next so this is like a little um i think it's a loopy fidget so it stands on this little base so it just looks cute but let me see if i can do it so it's got it's got a spare ball in the middle but what you do is you kind of spin it I'm surprised I did that first time. So 
that's quite satisfying. Um, and the ball is quite weighty. You just have to be careful that it doesn't fly out. But they do loads of like different ones. Um, and yeah, it does look kind of cute on its little stand. Let's put that over there. Um, next, now the mesh marble fidget. We love that. I might put that in that tray actually. Um, my friend Sophie got me these like iridescent um, headbands, which are really cool, both visually and because I love these headbands. Um, she got me two. I don't know where. Oh no, here it is. I was just about to be like, I don't know where the other one is. Here it is. Um, so they're cute. They're just so pretty to look at. Like I've never used these ones as hairbands. They're exclusively stems. <laughs> Then I, let's go on to sequined. Oh no, wait, hang on. Another mesh fidget. This is blue. I think I've got like three or four of these now. It's getting out of hand. Um, let's go on to the sequin stuff. So I've got the sequin notebook. Which is quite satisfying. I don't know that I've ever written in it. No, I haven't. It, this was a tiger purchase, I believe. It does say tiger in it. It doesn't. I'm pretty sure it was tiger. Um, so that's quite cool. And then I also have this little dolphin that my brother got me. Which is a cool little key ring. Little multicoloured one. Okay. Then I have this little slinky, which is actually really should be in my other tray because I do use it a lot. I just kind of walk around going like, hang on, like that. <laughs> um, and also I get really obsessed with like trying to make it into like a cool circle. Basically, there's just so many things you can do with it. So that's a little baby cool slinky. Then, this is so random, I have this like massive agate egg um, and it's really heavy and it's really cold and it's just really nice to hold. It's really heavy, glossy kind of looking. Um, it's almost like a calm egg, you know? So there's that. I have one fidget spinner. Oh, that looks so cool on camera. There's that. I then have this unbelievably old school Disney um, little keyring fidget. Like people used to have them on their like phone cases. Um, but this is like old school from a Disney store, probably back in like early 2000s. Um, but yeah, there's just a little Winnie the Pooh in like a little bath. So yeah, it's just quite satisfying. Put them inside the slinky. Um, this is just a, like a kind of cool elastic hairband thing that came free with, I think, like a bracelet that I'd bought. But I just quite liked the kind of texture of the elastic. Um, and the flower's cool. And then I have these, which I was kindly given, which are like stackable. But they also like click, which is really satisfying. And then they come apart as well. They're kind of Lego-like, but not Lego. Absolute ASMR. And then a good old Rubik's Cube, which I've tried to solve so many times and have yet to solve it because it's just not on my skill set. Um, and then, last of all, let's get rid of the tray. I have this collection of random things. So, these go in my bag whether that's my work bag or just like my going out bag and basically I have all of these things on this metal ring 
So let's take the things off. So this is a thing in itself. So it's from Pop Sockets and it's like a flippable fidget with like a magnetic back as well. But you can like play different games with these, um, which is really cool. Um, yeah, it's from Pop Socket. Let, let me put the um, name of what it's actually called up here. Okay, this is what it's called. This is Emily editing. Um, and you can buy different like pucks for them as well. So I, oh my God, I got this for Christmas um, last year and it's so, just so satisfying. Um, and I think you can play this kind of game where you kind of flick them from like, let me take the key ring off from like this magnet like over to here or something there's loads of different things um but you can get them on amazon if anyone is interested so i got that so that sits on its this really nice key ring and i was like i'd love to take this out and about and then in my tangle haul from last year from october i got this really cool like key ring tangle so it comes with this like attachment already on it and I guess I could take it off if I just unpop the tangle but I liked that it was like a kind of black see-through tangle um and kind of goes really well on this in terms of color so I have that tangle that I also have on there and like sometimes I'll just put it like I have one of those uniglo like bags you know the bags that everyone seems to have I have one of the one of those but in black so like sometimes I'll just kind of hang those off. And then what also fits on there is my loop earplugs. Um, now, these are the Engage ones. Let me do it a little bit closer. Um, and I don't, what do I have? These aren't, are these the foam ones? Yes, these are the foam tips. So these are the Engage, maybe the Engage Plus ones. Hang on, I'll put it on screen here. What are these? Thank you, Editing Emily. Um, and they have the like little insert loops. And I've got the foam um, tips on them. Because I found that the silicone ones were kind of irritating. And they didn't really like, almost like plug your ear enough. Um, now with these, you do get, you do kind of hear yourself quite a bit. Um, because it, it almost feels like you've got these in and you're kind of in this weird kind of head bubble, but it does really reduce background noise and I just carry them with me all the time. I do kind of want to get a better case for them because I kind of feel, also these were bought for me um, for Christmas, but I kind of feel like this isn't like enough of a, I don't know, enough of a like safe like box to carry them in if that makes sense um like especially like none of the loop earplugs are particularly like cheap um and I just kind of feel like the case should be better and I feel like they have done newer cases um if I can find a photo I will put it on the screen um but yeah I kind of feel like it should come on a keyring as well rather than just a little Wire, but can't fault the actual earplugs um yeah so that is everything um i would love to know any recommendations for storage because as you can see this isn't great um it's not terrible but i just think it's not very organized and i used to have like little drawers but because they were tucked away i just didn't like see them enough and basically if something isn't in my line of sight I just won't use it so I'm very open to any kind of storage solutions um, like how does everyone store their fidgets are there certain ones that you guys take out um, yeah I'd be really interested to know and yeah that 
is all of my fidgets. So thank you very much for watching. Do let me know if you enjoyed this video um, and let me know any other videos that you'd like to see as well. Um, I'm very open to um, basically any kind of video suggestions. So yeah. Okay, bye.